In this lesson, we will discuss project management software. Project management software has the capacity to help plan, organize, and manage resource pools and develop resource estimates. Depending on the sophistication of the software, it can manage estimation and planning, scheduling, cost control, cost control and budget management, resource allocation, collaboration software, communication, decision making, quality management, and documentation or administration systems. Today, numerous PC and browser-based project management softwares exist, and they are finding their way into almost every type of business. The link given below has the top 20 most popular project management softwares. Now we will open this link and explore the top 20 most popular project management softwares. I have opened that link now. Here we can see the top 20 popular project management softwares. We can use any of these softwares to practice project management skills. Now we will see how to work on Zoho projects. This is the page where we can sign up for the Zoho project. First, we have to create an account here. So click on Sign Up Here. Specify all the details and then click on Sign Up Here. Once done, you will get an automated mail for the password. Once you validate that password email, you can go ahead and log in to the Zoho project. For that, just click on Login. As I already have an account in this, I will use my credentials to log into that project. When logging in for the first time, you have the option to enable two-factor authentication to secure your Zoho account. As of now, I am not enabling this option, so click on Remind Me Later. Now we have successfully logged into the Zoho projects. This is the Home tab where we can see the overview of the projects. These are all the widgets and we can customize them by drag and drop. This Home tab will provide a detailed overview of all the projects within the user account. Here we can see global reports, my issues, etc., etc. In this way, we can view all the details of the project from the home page. First, we will create two new users who can work on projects which we will create in Zoho. For that, click on Setup. 
Here we have the option Manage Users. Here we can use Portal Users and Client Users. To create new users who can work on this Zoho Project Portal, we have to use Portal User. Just click here. Click on Add User. Here we have to give the new user email address. Here I will specify the user email as user2 at test.com. After that, I will give this user role as administrator. Actually, there are many options for roles like administrator, manager, employee, and contractor. I will choose the role as administrator. And then I will choose the profile as admin. After providing the email address, we can click on Add. If we want to save and add new user, we can click here. Here, I will use Add to create a new user. Just click on Add. Here we can see that user 2 has been successfully added. Click on Got it. If we want to see the client users, just click on Client Users. We can add client users from here. If we want to add any new profile or roles, click Profiles and Roles. Next, we will create a new project here. For that, go to the Projects tab and click on New Project, here. Here we have to give the project title. Here I will give the project title as First Project. And I will give the owner as User1. And then I will give the start date as August 18th. And then I will give the end date as October 17th. And then we have to give the project overview. I will give it as, this is the first demo project. After that, we have a few more options to edit. Here I will select the task layout as standard layout. And then we can add tags here. Here I will add a tag first. Likewise, we can add many tags for this project. And then we can see roll up option. It will ask if we want to enable this option to roll up dates from tasks to projects and milestones. Currently, I am not enabling this roll up option now. After that, if we want any customization for this project, we can enable it here. If we want to add chats, forums, pages, or anything else, we can customize it here. And then Project Access. Private means only project users can have access to this project. If it is public, anyone can view this project from outside. Here, I will choose Private Access, and then click Add to proceed further. Here we can see that a new first project has been successfully created.
First, we will see the dashboard for this project. Just click on Dashboard. This is the dashboard where we can see many widgets related to this project. This is similar to the home, but this dashboard is related to this project only. While in the Home button, we can see the overview of all the projects. In this dashboard, we can see many widgets that are related to this project, like Task Status, Overview Work Items, Issue Status, Tags, Upcoming Events, Milestones, etc. In this way, we can see all details about this project in this dashboard. Once the project is created, the second step is to add milestones and tasks. First, I will create milestones for this project. For that, we will go to Milestones and create a new milestone. Just click on Create New Milestone here. Here I will give the milestone name as First Milestone. And then we have to specify the start and end dates. After that, we have to choose who is responsible for this milestone. From the drop down list, we can choose the users. Here, I will choose that user 2 is responsible for this milestone. And then milestone flag. There are two options internal and external. If it is internal, only Zoho project owners can view the milestone details. If it is external, the client can also see the milestone details. At this moment, I will keep the milestone flag as internal. After that, tags. Here I will give the tag name as Mile1. After that, click on Add. Once the milestone has been created, we have to add tasks under the milestone. I will click on Add Task List here. Here I will give the task name as Task1. After that, we can associate task list from here. After that, if we want to choose a task from the template, we can choose it here. At this moment, I am not using these two options. And I will give the tag name as Task1. And then click on Add Task List. So Task List has been created. Once the task list is created, here we can see that there are no tasks for this task list. To add a new task under this task list, just click on Task 1, and then click on Add Task. Here I will give the task name as New Task. And then I will give the description as New Task for the project.
If we want to add any files or attachments, we can drop them here. Currently, I am not adding any attachments here. After that, we can also opt a user for this task. Here I will opt the user as user1. And then I will select the start date and end date. After that, we can choose the priority for this task. Here, I will keep the priority of this task as high. After that, I will give the tag name as new01. Likewise, if we want to add one more task for this milestone, we can click on Add More. I will add one more task for this milestone. Just click on Add More here. Here, I will give the new task name as New Task Development. and description as, this task is used for development. Once the task has been created, I will give the owner name as user2, and then I will specify the start and end dates, and I will keep the priority as high. After that, I will give the tag name as new02. After that, click on Add. Here we can see that two new tasks are successfully created. And we can see their respective owners and status. If we want to change the status, we can change the status. For example, if this task has been started, we can change the status as In Progress as well. Here we can see that this task has been successfully created. It will take some time to change the status of the task. In this way, we have to create project, milestones, task list, and tasks. In the next lesson, we will continue Zoho Project's practical session. Thank you.